on your brain. So I was making my juice and I needed something to put the leftover grapes in. You guys, I know it's so stupid, but I grabbed this out of the cabinet like, I mean, this is a grape thing, right? It's so cool. Oh, hi. No? Are you guys as excited as I am? No? Okay. I also made a mess with my juice. Anyways, that's all. Done talking about this. challenge. Um, I'm going to be just super honest today and just say that it's been hard for me. It's that weird time of year where, I don't know, it's just that there's no motivation and um, yeah, I get a little bit lost, but I have been staying accountable. Like thinking about all of you that are doing this with me too has been really um, helping me stay accountable. Like I think about you guys and all the photos you're posting and I'm like, ah, I gotta get my juice. I gotta go juice. I gotta do what I said I was gonna do. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for doing this with me because I can't do it without you and I appreciate it. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Ivy and I'm so glad that you're here. Um, also, don't forget to, be, to use the Juice with Ivy. I've seen so much of you guys and I love it. You can use Juice with Ivy, 30 Days of Juice, and Love Your Body Challenge and it helps me to see it and then I've been posting about it, which I think is encouraging other people to keep juicing. Um, if you guys are like super behind, don't worry. The whole point is to just get a juice in every single day. So if you maybe just want to join us right now, do it. Join us, join the community, see what people are juicing at home, see what they have. Um, if you guys saw what I juiced today, um, I have no desire to juice this but I or drink this, but I know how good it's going to make me feel. So if you guys saw um, what I put in it, it was kind of everything that I had left what I have left like in the house. I don't have a ton of juice stuff right now. But so I did spinach. I did the ends of my uh, asparagus. You guys, just because like society tells us, you know, you have to cut the end of asparagus off and you have to cut the end of the broccoli off doesn't mean that um, it's not important and doesn't mean that it still doesn't hold nutrients. So I always save those things and I put them through the juicer. So this is a bunch of the ends of the asparagus. Um, what else? A random piece of ginger that I found that I didn't even know that I had. Um, I put in there grapes. Uh, I did have some grapes. I'm not a huge fan of juicing grapes, but I know it's really, really good for you. So I would have loved to add lemon and turmeric to this, but I didn't have it. So I just juiced what I had. I didn't make any excuses, and I juiced what I had. A little bit of celery. And yeah, pretty good. I do always like to do a quarter of an apple because it's important to have that apple pectin for the liver, um, especially when you're doing something like a green juice. You don't have to do it super sweet, but you do want a little bit of apple in there to activate the liver. Something you could do is throw in a shot of apple cider vinegar uh, with the green to kind of give it that apple pectin um, to activate the liver to kind of purge toxins, which is what it's really good for. But anyways, so I'm gonna try this. It's pretty good super mild. Um, I like a little bit more celery. I love a lot of ginger and I love lemon. And this doesn't really have too much of either one of those. So anyways, keep showing me what you guys are juicing. Um, I might take you with me today or I might just end this right here. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we're headed to um, maybe meet up with some friends. So if I am feeling up for it and if they're feeling up for being on camera, I will show you guys what um, they eat, and if not, I will see you on my next video. Maybe stay tuned. I don't know. Anyways, have a good rest of your day, you guys, and I will see you on my next video.